Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to talk uh, about uh, uh, another important mode of ventilation. And this uh, mode of ventilation we call it uh, airway pressure release ventilation. Or sometimes you call it inverse ratio ventilation. What's it? Before we talk about this uh, uh, airway pressure release ventilation or, or inverted uh, ratio ventilation, uh, we have to rem remind ourselves by the BIBAP. BIBAP is formed of uh, two levels of CBAP. One high level of CBAP and another one is low level of CBAP. And the high level of CBAP, the patient can take his inspirations uh, at, the, the, at the higher level, this is a CBAP, or at the lower level. So if the patient is not taking his uh, inspirations and become paralyzed or adding for, for his or another, this will be considered as a mandatory way a mandatory mode of ventilation, where this is the time for the upper one, usually about one second, and this is the rest. This is expiratory in this case, uh, if it is three seconds, one plus three, and each cycle will be four, so the rate will be about um, 15 breaths per minute. But about the tidal volume, the tidal volume will be determined by the driving pressure, which is the difference between these high pressures and the low pressures, and uh, uh, in addition to the resistance compliance of the patients, so this will, de will de determine the, uh, the the tidal volume. So this is uh, the way for the BIBAP. <coughs> what did they do? They said, why don't we make it reverse? The one second to be lower, and the other one will be two, three, or four, four seconds. This is the duration, and see what will happen. <coughs> That's it. They said this is airway pressure release ventilations. So you ventilate the patients in the high level of CBAB for a longer time, and usually the lower is about one second. And this uh, lower one is uh, meant for the exhalations, and this is usually for the inhalation. If the patient wants to take an inspiration, he will take it in the upper, but this is uh, in the upper part because this is a CBAB. And also the same thing, and you look at this, this is a, if this is a time, the time say is three seconds, and this is one second, each cycle will be four seconds, and the rate uh, 60 over four will be give you 15 press per minute. If you put it, uh, this is uh, three and one, it will be four, 60 over four, it will be 15 press per minute. So this is the, uh, the, the, this is the, the rate. But about the tidal volume, the tidal volume for sure will be determined by the difference between this is the lower level of CBAB, or in this case will be PEEP, and the higher CBAB. This, this is the difference, this is the driving pressure. This driving pressure, and then again, is the resistant compliance will determine. This is the tidal volume. We're going to talk about it. So this is that uh, we secure the deliver of a tidal volume with the rate, this means that the minute volume should be delivered to the patient. But the functions, the main target point of this, uh, is that we are securing two important points. The, 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 the main function is to keep the alveoli open. To keep the alveoli open, number one, and at the same time, you are, you are trying to avoid injury to the alveoli. Instead of being, uh, to be into to, uh, into, uh, 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 this alveoli, to, to open and collapse, open and collapse, this is shearing force which will lead to a damage to, to, the, to the line. So this is the main, the main uh, point. For That's why this is the high CBAB, this is the low, in this case it will be beep, and the patient can take his inspiration up. This usually is one second, and this is, you can change it, and by the change of the upper one, you will define the uh, duty cycle and according to the respiratory rate. That's why when you both look at this is the patterns for the for for the uh, for for the uh, airway pressure and ventilations. For sure, this is at the high. This is the high level disabilities. So this is the time for the high. This is the time for the usually one second. And this is the pressure, high pressure, low pressure. Well, this is defined the driving pressures, high and low. So this is the two things. In addition to this, is right time how fast you go by this to the upper level. Nothing more. But this is a, this is an important one. The idea that here this is a lower should be one to two centimeter water above the lower inflection point in order to keep the alveoli open during expiration. So this is alveoli while still will be kept open during expiration would not close. It is still open. That's why the shooting force is avoided. Closing and opening of this uh, dependent alveoli should should be open and should not be left at the lactatic, especially if it is loose at lactatic. So this is number one. Number two, when you, put, uh, when you look at this, is the upper part, 
the ceiling should be away from this is the upper deflection point or another way it should be away from the uh, the, the the value which uh, will produce some sort of our tumor we have mentioned before which is the blood 2 pressure about uh, 30 to 35 centimeter water so this is that uh, should not be uh, should the maximum is 30 to 35 sometimes you say that this this is not the blood 2 pressure this is the uh, pressure which is uh, uh, the, the the results of two things which is uh, pressure resistance and pressure resistance if you consider the pressure uh, resistance about 10 centimeter water so this means that uh, if you go by uh, to 30 this means that the blood pressure will be about uh, to 40 the blood pressure will be about 30 so to keep, keep in mind uh, it's better not to go beyond 30 uh, uh, 35 for this uh, 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 high spell so this is in this case uh, you are guaranteeing that uh, there is some sort of protection of the of the of the lung this is number one, and the shiny force uh, from this is a uh, lower CPAP, uh, the lower uh, uh, the beep or the lower CPAP, in this case it is a beep, and uh, the high CPAP, which is away from this is uh, upper inflection point. So this is, uh, you, are, you are acting in, this, in this, uh, this area, which is a safe zone. So this is uh, another uh, one point. The second point, uh, you are keeping the alveoli open for a longer time. That's why the oxygen should be a little bit uh, more better. So what's about? Look at this. This is uh, I have mentioned. This is uh, this is uh, the lower. This is the expiratory time. This expiratory time because this is the one second usually. This is expiratory time. This is the deflations of the lung from the high to the lower uh, lower peep. This is uh, uh, what about the inflation? This is uh, what about the inspiratory time? This is inspiratory time, and this is the the rest of this. This is the inspiratory pause. We have mentioned it. Why in spectral time you are always inflating? No, you are using this is a pressure. This is a flow, and this is a pressure here which is kept kept constant for certain time, preset time, say three seconds. And this is a pressure. So the flow will go to inflate the lung, and after inflation of the lung, this is a driving pressure, will, will result in inflation of the lung for certain volume, and after that, no more no more inflation of the lung because the flow came back to zero that's why the time here this is the this is any pattern don't imagine that the 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 tidal volume will will in, will include this area no so this is a pressure this is the difference between this pressure and that pressure is a driving pressure and these driving pressures will result into the uh, uh, uncertain tidal volume distance but the man maintenance of this for longer time, no more, is if this, this is an inspiratory uh, pose. This is uh, only the tidal volume entered, no more entry, but the pressure is maintained uh, for that time, and after that, uh, these exhalations, uh, and uh, uh, no more inflations, uh, and therefore the, uh, the pressure drops to the lower level. So this is a uh, it's important point. This is inspiratory time, inspiratory time, extra inspiratory time, but this is a total inspiratory time. So, but this is the time required for the entry of this tidal volume according to the complexity and resistance of the patients and the driving pressure. So, this is to be considered. Look at this. This is the uh, airway pressure release uh, ventilation. So, these are the data. This is the rising time. This is no questions about that. But when you look at this, is the upper time. This is uh, four seconds. And this is uh, one second. The duty cycle is five. That's why the rate is 12. 60 of over 5 will give you 12. When you look at the second one, if you change it, this is the 3 seconds, and this is 1 second, so the duty cycle is 4. 6 over, uh, uh, over 4 give you 15. So this is that number 1 for the rate. When you look again, back again, this is the driving pressure. So this is a high pressure, this is a low pressure, this is a beep, and this is a high pressure, see bad. So this is uh, 15, and this is uh, 5. So the driving pressure is 10. This driving pressure is then is responsible against the, for the, against the resistance compliance of the patients while they have about 600 ml. This is uh, this is the driving pressure 10, which will happen if we increase it. So this increase at uh, 20 to uh, 5. This is 20. This is a high pressure. This is the low pressure. The difference is 15 instead of 10. 15 again is the same resistance, same, same compliance. So the tidal volume has increased. So in order to increase the tidal volume. So this is a change in the driving pressure go with this up. If you want to change the the rate, you have to uh, change this. Uh, this is the time of the high. So this is uh, the maneuver of this uh, airway pressure release condition. By the way, this is not a physiological. Sometimes you need to make uh, to give uh, good sedation to the patients, and it is very important. Uh, 
for the oxygenation cell and it is considered now as a way for recruitment of the lungs. Thank you.